have a beautiful, stunning, massive, exciting double unboxing to share with you guys today. Look how gigantic this bag is. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to get it on, on screen, so let me do a quick little swing. You guys, can you guys see how gigantic this bag is? You guys can only imagine what beautiful, stunning, massive bag that I have inside of here and I'm gonna be sharing with you here shortly. And we can't forget about this little beauty here. We all know that the best things come in small packages. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I absolutely love handbags. I don't like to spend a ton of money on clothes. Now I do love clothes, but where it's at for me is definitely my handbags. Because if I'm being honest, my handbags don't go away just or don't stop fitting just because I gain a few pounds. My clothes, on the other hand, definitely stop fitting when I gain or lose a few pounds. So my handbags are always here to stay and they don't judge and they don't discriminate. I'm not gonna drag today's unboxing on. I will share the story with you guys after I do the unboxing. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that because I actually did return one bag and got that bag instead. Let's go ahead and jump into the Italo Jewelry. Italo is a jewelry company that sells wedding bands, they sell everyday jewelry, they sell gym, simple jewelry, and they sell very fashionable jewelry at an affordable price. But when you guys see how sparkly and stunning these pieces are, you are gonna be shocked at the price points. I'm gonna have everything linked down below, including these two pieces and their website in case there's something you guys want to check out. But let's take a second to admire the beautiful packaging. And then inside of here, I do have the two Italo boxes in here one of these pieces is a more simple piece and one of these pieces is super extravagant i'm going to go ahead and save the extravagant piece for last this particular piece i had several ideas with so i did opt for a size that's going to fit a couple of my fingers and it is a simple wedding band so it's a nice chunky little stones here you guys it is so beautiful I have been wearing this for a week now I've washed my hands with it I've used soap with it I have put lotion on with it and it's still absolutely stunning it did not turn my finger green it didn't cause any irritation or any itchiness at all and for me somebody who has a very sensitive skin to lots and lots of different things I was pretty impressed with that now my plan for this ring was I do have a very simple pinky ring that I wear every single day and I've been looking for a simple ring to wear on my ring finger next to it and I thought that this would be perfect I love the fact that it's mixing metals and it's not too chunky where it takes away from my everyday pinky ring and they, I feel like they go very, very well together. I think that looks very pretty, very simple, very dainty. Now my other plan was for it to go with my wedding ring. So I have a wedding ring that I wear pretty much during the summertime because my hands do get very, very swollen in the summertime. But I don't have, it's an engagement ring, it's this one here, but I don't have a ring that goes with it. And I thought that this one would be perfect and you guys, it is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do cutaways for you guys to see what that looks like. But it is an absolute perfect fit and I think it's stunning. So I have two different uses for this ring and I think that it's gonna be used quite a bit. It's actually gonna be my everyday ring. You're probably gonna see it in all of my videos because it is a perfect fit, it's beautiful, and it's perfect for me for every day. Now this other ring, on the other hand, is definitely an occasion ring. You're probably not gonna see it in everyday videos, but you definitely will see it in my reels and my cutaways when I am going on date nights because this ring is so beautiful, you guys. Take a look at that. The colors are stunning. Now my idea with this ring, because it is so chunky and so beautiful, this for me is a standout piece. You need to wear it by itself. So my idea for this ring was to either wear it on my ring finger on my right hand side with no other jewelry. So I will take off my pinky ring or on my middle finger. Now I think that it, I ordered it in the size where it fits best on my middle finger. So that is probably what I will do with it. But I think it is so stunning. It's so beautiful. Now, if I was the type of person that dressed up every day, I would wear this every day because I am such a fan of this color 
Like I said, it's absolutely stunning. But unfortunately, on a day-to-day -day basis, I work in an environment where I don't even wear makeup. So I'm not gonna wear this every day, but it is beautiful. I do wanna quickly thank Italo for sponsoring this portion of the video. I am gonna have these two rings along with their website linked down below. And I believe that they are giving me a discount code as well. So all of that information will be down below for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the big boy here. I actually took the bag out of the bag and the box. There's the box inside of here as well because I don't think I can get this in screen, but just for reference, I did buy this brand new from the store. If you guys, if you know, you know why I'm, I'm saying that. And this is the box. It is gigantic, you guys. It is such a big, huge box inside of there and then of course the gigantic bag i don't think i've ever had a bag from louis vuitton so big before in my life okay and here is the beautiful stunning bag isn't she gorgeous no i'm just kidding you guys let's take a look inside and see what i got so i got the by the pool collection to my knowledge and i could be completely wrong because i have not investigated this to my knowledge i believe they come out with the by the pool collection every year for the last couple of years and it's always a watercolor collection so what bag did i send in instead of this bag my husband got me a beautiful bag you guys it was a speedy 20 i will link it down below and i was head over heels for it for mother's day it was a special special treat i did not know that he was going to do that for me and those are the treats that really just get to me you guys because like I said, I had no idea that he was going to do that for me. That's not something we do on a regular basis. He might buy me one luxury bag a year, if that. So like I said, it's not an everyday occasion. So it was really, really special to me that he took me out shopping on Mother's Day for that bag. And I thought it was beautiful. But I had two issues with it. One of which I felt like it was too small for my frame. All of you guys helped me helped convince me that it's not too small for my frame and after watching my video I agree I don't feel like it's too small for my frame so I do think I will add a speedy 20 to my collection very not very soon but maybe next year because I do really really like that bag but the problem was the zipper I was struggling with the zipper so much that the few times that I used it, I would left the zipper open and I just didn't zip it up because it was so frustrating, so annoying. It was to the point where I was scared to zip it up because I was scared of ruining something because it was so difficult to zip. So I texted my sales associate, I let him know what's going on. I asked him if he had any other Speedy 20s in the Damier Licious collection and he said no, he didn't. So I went in store and I got this bag. He wasn't there, or I thought he wasn't there, so I was t talking to another lady. I let her know what was going on and that I had intended to exchange the bag. She was very kind, very sweet, and then pops up Steve, my sales associate, out of nowhere, and he says, Melissa, I was just texting you back. So the, the transition was very easy. He agreed the zipper should not be that way, and he showed me several other bags including this colorway so unfortunately the two bags that i was interested in was this beauty right here the speedy 25 and i am going to do close-ups and cutaways right after the story so stay tuned you guys we're almost done so he um he didn't have this one in store and he didn't have the pochette matisse in the orange and the pink but he did have the speedy 20 in the orange and the pink and you guys when i tell you i was so damn tempted by that bag i was so damn tempted because the speedy 20 is not i love the speedy 20 i loved it more than i thought i was going to love it it's a really good size if any of you guys are on the fence i do recommend it i've got a hair you guys just make sure that you test out the zipper because the zipper is the issue so I tested out the zipper and of course the zipper was just as bad as mine, but the colors of the pink and orange, if I'm being honest, you guys are more beautiful than the blue and the teal. And the only reason why I opted not to go for the pink and orange is because we all know that I am not a warm tone girly and it is a bright warm tone pink with a bright orange and it has the beautiful treated, baquette, or not treated, pre-tanned baquetta but it was stunning. When I tell you guys, I'm not exaggerating. I told Steve I want the pochette Matisse 
in the pink and the orange. That's what I told him. And he goes in his little thing, he punches it in, he's about to, to ring me up because there was a price difference. And then I said, you know what, Steve, you're gonna hate me, but I really think that I'm gonna regret the Pochette Matisse in the pink and the orange because those colors are not my colorway. And even though I'm so drawn to them and I think that they are prettier than this colorway. Now, don't get me wrong, this is absolutely stunning. There was just something about that pink and orange that reminded me of a sunset and it was stunning. But I just felt like it was going to be a mistake. I did own the Pochette Matisse. OG subscribers will know this. I own the Pochette Matisse in the turtle dove color and I sold it. And I have been recently eyeing it again. Now the reason why I've been eyeing it again is because I feel like I didn't, I feel like I didn't get along with the Pochette Matisse because I bought it in the Turtle Dove. I think that if I were to go for something fun and bright, especially in a limited edition collection, that I would use it quite a bit, especially for work, because you guys, my work is very casual. I wear jeans and a t-shirt, so I think it'd be really cute. I just need it to be fun enough where I'm going to want to pick it up. So then Steve said, no problem at all. Let's go ahead and get this ordered for you. It'll be in here later this week. We, he ordered it for me. It came in a few days later. I had it shipped to Louis Vuitton. In my state, in Arizona, we have to sign for it. It's not an option not to sign for it. One of you guys actually told me that you don't have to ever sign for your Louis Vuitton packages. You can opt out. That's not the case here. There is no opting out. So I have, I sent it to the store and then my husband picked it up for me on Friday. He is a gem. And then of course, Steve had no issue with giving it to my husband. So that is the story behind this bag. That is why I ended up with this bag instead of the Speedy 20. The Speedy 20 would have stayed in my collection if it weren't for the zipper. And if it weren't for you guys, I am blaming you guys 100%. You guys told me, Melissa, do not keep a bag with a faulty zipper for $2,000. No, ma'am. And you guys were right. And I did mention, I had a full-on conversation. I believe it was with Michelle. Um, I will put her handle right here for you guys. No, I won't. I won't put her handle because I haven't asked yet. But she and I had a conversation back and forth. And she was like, it doesn't matter if you use the bag, Melissa. This is a luxury company. And it's their fault. They should not have sold you a, a bag with a faulty zipper. Take it back. And she was 100% correct. And like I said, Steve agreed. So I didn't have any issues with that whatsoever. Okay, guys. So that is my story. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bag. As you can see, it's got the beautiful large print on the front, which I really, really love. But look at this side print. If I'm being honest with you guys, if it was only this front print and not this side print, I don't know if I would go for it. I feel like it might be a little bit too simple for me, which is kind of astronomical because everybody else probably thinks that this bag is too busy, but that's just what I like, you guys. I really love print mixing, and I think that this is the perfect way to do it because it's still the same type of design with the florals and the LVs, and it's the same colorway, but it's a smaller design and it's on the side of the bag. So I think that is absolute perfection. As far as the bottom goes, it's the same as the top here with this beautiful watercolor. It is a treated, not treated, I'm sorry. I don't know why I always say that. It's a pre-tanned vaquetta, which makes me a lot less nervous because pre-tanned vaquetta usually has an even tan already. So you don't usually have an area that gets darker or lighter and it's less prone to watermarks. It will get watermarks, you guys. I'm not saying that it won't. It's just less prone. And I think that's just because it has the deeper color. It has gold hardware. It has the D-rings on the side, just like the typical Speedy has. Now just wait until you guys see what the inside looks like. It's so beautiful. Look how stunning that is. I love that. Now I actually don't think I'm going to get a bag organizer or a bag liner for this bag because the color is so beautiful on the interior. I would just hate to cover that up. Now, one thing I noticed that I do want to mention is that it does have a zipper here, which on the typical Speedy is very shallow, so you can't fit anything inside of here. This one is not shallow. My whole hand, which I think is going to be impossible for me to show you guys, but basically my whole palm up to here 
fits inside of there. So my fingertips up to where this portion of my hand is fits inside of the pocket. So it is a deep pocket. I have my keys inside of there. I haven't opened it yet. So this is my key and lock. I typically put my key and lock on the zipper. I don't know if I am going to on this one. I don't know why. I think it just has enough going on. So I don't think I'm going to do that, but we'll see what happens. And then the strap is a little bit different than the typical standard speedy strap. I'm gonna go ahead and put cutaways up on the screen for you guys of me trying this bag on while I do talk about the strap. I love the thickness of the strap. It's the perfect thickness for me. It's not so thin that it hurts my shoulder and it's not so thick that it falls off of my shoulder. Do you guys have an issue with that? If there is a thick strap, like a thicker, like almost guitar thickness strap, does that fall off of your shoulders or is that just me? Maybe I have those drooping shoulders that people talk about, I don't know. But a thick strap definitely falls off of my shoulders. Now one of the things that I don't like about this strap is the fact that it doesn't have the three part strap like the typical Speedy 25 has. I like that factor because I'm the type of person who loves a long shoulder bag. I don't love a shoulder bag, you guys. A shoulder bag that goes under your armpit, I don't love that. But I love a long shoulder bag. And the reason why I love a long shoulder bag is because I still feel like the bag is showcased. My arm and armpit are not covering the bag, but I don't have it cross body. Now the reason why I don't like it cross body is because I have bigger a bigger chest and having a strap go between the ladies just accentuates it and brings people's eye to your larger chest. And I don't like that. It makes me feel very insecure and very uncomfortable. So that's why I prefer a long shoulder strap. For me, it gives me the same effect as a crossbody. It still hits me at my hip like a crossbody would, but it's not going between my chest. So hopefully that is making sense to you guys. But because this has only the two straps, I can't wear it as a long shoulder strap and I can't even take one of them off. So it has to be worn as a crossbody for me or it's going to be extremely long even with it being worn crossbody i have to wear it on the shortest hole you guys i'm five foot six so i'm not petite i'm not small whatsoever and i'm curvy i'm about a size 10 so the fact that i have to wear this on the shortest strap it makes me really sad because there's quite a bit of ladies i'd say the majority of ladies are actually shorter than i am so you guys might not be able to wear this as a longer or you may not be able to wear this comfortably because it's going to hit too low on you but then again on the other hand it will be really nice for taller ladies and curvier ladies so that is definitely a plus but like I said, if they would have done a three part strap, then it would have worked out for everybody and it would have worked out for all of us. And with it being a limited edition collection where it's a little bit more pricey than the typical standard Speedy 25, I feel like that's something that they shouldn't have skimped out on. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Stay tuned for part two. Lately with all of my unboxings, I've been doing it in a two part segment. One is for the person that just wants to see what new bag I added to my collection. And the other one is for the people that actually want to see what fits inside of the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump off camera, do my second part of what fits inside of this bag. I hope that you guys will follow along and stay tuned for the part two of this video. And don't forget to check out Italo. They have beautiful, stunning pieces at affordable price points.